Hi, hi, how are you? Hola, teacher, ¿cómo está? Fine, and you? Fine, thanks. Excellent. Vamos a ver. <coughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you, and you? Fine, fine. He tenido mucho trabajo esta semana. Ay, qué tremendo, lo voy a... Y me he enfermado bastante. Y eso, mucho estrés. Creo que sí. <ríe> de gripe, de los ojos, de todo, estoy mal. Ay, no, Carlita. Ya no trabaje mucho. Oh. Sí. Ya yo, voy a jubilar. Yo he reducido mi carga. Ay, sí. Yo he reducido Bien difícil. <risa> Porque <risa> si no, uno se enferma. Sí, es cierto. Así es que mejor agarrarla al suave. <risa> de Sí, sí, no, yo tuve que reducir carga, porque antes trabajaba todavía de tres y media, cinco y media, y tenía clases sábado en la tarde, pero no more, <risa> ya no, ya no, ya, ya, ya hay que ir bajándole un poquito. <risa> ya he reducido bastante, antes trabajaba más. <risa> es más, <risa> Pero hace falta un poquito de, de descanso. Porque, por ejemplo, esta, esta clase de ahorita, yo antes la tenía de 7 a 9. O sea, ya ahí estaba, ¿verdad? Es, esa ahí estaba, no ha sido agregada, sino que ahí estaba. Pero, sí. ¿Y por qué la pasaron más tarde? No, es que era, era otra. No era de este mismo programa. Uh -huh. ah. It was, it was different. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That it is necessary to, to get a little relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos a ver how many are we now? We only five. My goodness. Se les están pegando las colchas últimamente. <laughs> Not raining today, right? Is it raining in your house? No. No, no. No. Okay. Here either it's not raining. We have a nice weather. Well, no, no, ni tan nice. Está haciendo calorcito. But, <laughs> but at least it's not raining. That's the important thing. Bueno, let's see. Adriana, Sofía, no here, Ana Alicia, <coughs> Ana Grisel, David. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. <coughs> Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabricio, pero no es más grande la letra aquí. No sé por qué. Ayer, mientras estaba trabajando, la reduje. Ahí está, sí. Um, Elmer Fabricio, ¿no? Grace Michelle. Ivo Marcela. <coughs> Jennifer Elizabeth. Jessica Lisset, José Alberto, José, Al José Alberto, ¿verdad? Karen, Karen, Janet, Carla Lorena, Presentation. 
Dice Tayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Rebeca Marcela. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher, estaré de oyente. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Ok, bueno. Vamos a ver cuántos hay ya. Hmm. Eleven. Ok. Bueno. Hi, teacher. Yo entré tarde. Cool. Adriana Sofía. Oh, Adriana Sofía. Y yo vine a ver y dije, no, son muy poquitos. No voy a repetir. Pero sí, ¿verdad, okay. Adriana Sofía? Very good. Yes. <coughs> Ana. No, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, I am. Oh, I oh ok. Ana Grisel. Vamos a ver, vamos a repetir. Pues. Eh, Diego. Elda Cristina. Elmer Fabricio. Grace Michel. Yvonne. Jennifer. Jessica Lisette. Karen Janet, Nubia, Rebeca Marcela, Rebeca, eh, Karen Stephanie, va, ok. Bueno, eh, aquí nosotros, how was your day? Fine, fine, yes. Excellent. I'm glad to hear you had a fine, you had a good day. Well, I'm going to share. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is our class number nine and today we are going to be take, uh, talking about testing new products we're going to have the conversation and we also have a, an article about the best practices when testing products okay so that's what we are going to be doing today <clears throat> let's see Let's review uh, the tests, right? Um, because tomorrow, tomorrow, when later, <laughs> I'm saying tomorrow, not tomorrow, today, later on in class, when you go to the reading, you will be using this vocabulary and you need to remember what you're talking about, okay? A ver. I'm reading the definition and you tell me the cho eh, cruzada yo de la cabeza. <laughs> Vaya. Okay, I'm going to read the definition and you tell me the test that matches. Okay? Consumers use or cite and handle one product, then another and are asked to indicate which of the two products they prefer. What test is that? Fair comparison test. Fair comparison test. Exactly, that's the paired comparison test. I'm sharing, a, I'm comparing the first product with the second, right? Consumers use the product in real circumstances they use a product, cite it, handle it, and then rate it. Which one? Which test is that? Monadic method. Are you sure? Yes. 
Yes, pneumatic method. Okay, very good. Now, consumers take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period as they would usually use it in their own home. Use this. Consumers are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value of the brand. Branded test. Branded test, yes. Um, consumers use a product, cite it and handle it. They rate it. Then they use they use site handle another product and rate it. The consumer does not rate both products against each other. Which test is that? Sequential monodictic method. Mm -hmm. That's the sequential monadic method. Very good. This test is a good option. When there are significant tactile or visual elements of the product for consumers to experience. Which one? Mm -hmm. Sight and handling test. Sight and handling test, okay. And the last one, products are tested and branded. So the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristics and not on the brand name. Blind test. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's the blind test. Blind, because you do not see, right? Another way could be called a white white, so no brand at all, right? Carlita? Sí. Do you have a question? No. Mm, no. No. Okay, perfect. Now, remember yesterday you were uh, describing and telling me which test you would use a uh, for testing your product, right? The product that you presented at the beginning of the course that you created or that. First you brainstorming unit one, and then in the, at the beginning of unit two, you made the FODA, right? <laughs> the SWOT analysis of that product. I would like to listen to a couple of volunteers. We won't share all, but I would like to listen to a couple of you. Volunteers. Mm -hmm. Who will be my volunteers? You did that yesterday, but we didn't have enough time to share. Yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Adriana, Sofia. Sorry, I'm here. Okay, go ahead. Can you repeat the indication, please? Can you see the screen? Yeah. Yes, I <clears throat> see. Okay. So you're sharing what you were working with Adriana yesterday. Ah, okay. Bye -bye. Okay. Okay. Uh, we the uh, uh, we have a service. Mm -hmm. The service is um summer camp, an inclusive summer camp. Okay. That is the service. So we think that the two strategies that we can use for this service um, are the use test and the monad monadic method. Okay. Because, com because uh, it's a service, so we need to, to prove the way 
uh, of the kids and parents can can share the time, share the experience, and and I don't know how to say, and can see the develop of the of the services. Okay. Good. Which is the best strategy to test the product? Well, the service in this case. The best one is the monadic method. Okay. Okay. Uh, used to use okay. in in this case use the service in real circumstances with the experience of the child and the parent. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, Adriana, Sofia, check. We are not many right now, right? But you can choose the next victim. Who will be the next one? I have to say the number of group. Uh, the name of the person. Ah, uh, the name, okay. Uh, Novia. Novia, hello, Novia. I guess no. Hi, teacher. Oh, she's here. Aha, yo dije no. Vaya, ok. So, yeah. Tell us. Yours is a product or a service, Nubia? It's a product. Ok, perfect. Mm -hmm. um, Victor, show the work, please. Ok. Ok, I'm going to share my screen. Ok. Go ahead. Let me lend me one moment, please. Something I liked about this group, I, I imagine that all of you have the same, but something I liked about this group is that they have everything very well organized since the very beginning when they brainstorm to choose the product. Okay. And that is very important that you go keep a, keeping a sequence because we are going to be talking about that product for the whole course. Right? <laughs> Imagine. Okay. 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 See handling and use test as advantage. The consumer. Tell us, tell us uh, first, Nubia, what is your product? Uh, our product is uh, uh, clothes. Okay, clothes. Okay. Sports clothes. Okay, sports clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Uh, in the advantage, the consumer can touch and size the product. Can see size, style, material, um, final design. Can determine the quality of the clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, disadvantage, customer could be refused the product, increase of cost for adjusting, demorage to manufacture the bad of product. Okay. Only, only that method. Yes, use only one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, if we're talking about clothes, I guess that's the best one, right? Yes. You can see, touch it, and and use the product. Okay. Very good. Thank you yes. very much. Well, let's go back now. Let's go back to. <laughs> the presentation check so we have some questions to discuss beginning uh, today's class you have why do you think it is necessary to test products before they are released to the market and have you ever tested a product mm -hmm. so i want to hear your answers right i want to see if you tell me it is necessary to test a product before taking it to the market or if you say no what for if you can test it later 
for that, I'm going to send you to the groups for you to discuss the questions. I say we are 14. And then you come and tell me. Three, four minutes. And then we share. Try to join. <clears throat> Join, join. Only Victor. Adriana Marcela and Adriana Sofia try to join the room. Jose Alfredo, are you in class? Jose Alfredo, hello. ¿Quién habló? Escuché una voz extraña. ¿Mm? <ríe> Escuché una voz extraña, pero ya vi por dónde viene. <ríe> Yo, David ya habla bien ronco. <ríe> ¿Y quién era? No o sé, sea, Nubia le estaban hablando ahí. Creo. Oh. <ríe> ok. Why we sing? <laughs> Why do you think it is necessary to test products before they are released to the market? Release. Mm -hmm. Because it's necessary no quality. Mm -hmm. um, uh, to be sure that the product is good and satisfies mm -hmm. and how do you say necessities? Necessities? Necessities yeah. of the clients. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know if you have if you have an opinion about it too. Uh, I think um the important or if necessary the test product before uh, to launch in the market is um, get the experience the, of the customer um, and the como la perspectiva o el pronóstico que uno espera yeah yeah, expectative. Expectative, uh, um, so close to the reality or that we think uh, when design a product. Yeah. Is the result of the use or the test, the use uh, versus the, the 
the concept and the moment we design the product. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yes. I think we are agree. Um, both are agree about the um, the product. It, it need to be um, um, testing before they are realized to the market because you need to be sure that your product is gonna be good and is gonna be accepted for the um, um, how the clients clientes clients the customers <clears throat> the customers uh -huh. the customers and and you're gonna get a uh, good results about your 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 launching and I mean that's the the point. Okay. And the second question: Have you ever tested a product? Yes, I mean it's very common when in the supermarket when they are launching a new, for example, a cheese, and and they um they are como dando pruebas. I don't know how do you say it. Give the the, the testing. Samples. I don't know. Try samples. Mm -hmm. Samples. Uh huh. And and you can um after you buy. Oh, see, after you buy, you can test that um, that product, and and it's I mean it's very common in the supermarket. You can you can lo puedes probar antes pues, o sea. You can try, you can test. Uh -huh, you can test. Yes. English in English in English teacher in English. I think that they they test their products because they want to know if if it's it, uh, accept, accepted for the customers. So it's necessary to test the products. Why? Before they are released to the market. Uh -huh. Why? Because I, I was saying that they need to know if the product is accepted for the customers. By the customers. Ah, by the customers, okay. Another, another if is it a. Um, Maybe maybe customers can say it's nice or not. I like it or not. Or can you change this? Or, or you could do that for improve the product. Could be, I think. Mm -hmm. For the for the customer's opinion at the end. Yes. But when when we can, we, when we say, we, when we say uh, test products before I release it. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not in the market, it's, it's in, uh -huh. in, the, in the company, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. No, so, I, never be, I never be in a fabric testing a product. To say the truth, I never have been there. Would you like it? Yes, it would be nice mm -hmm. and surprise the the whole the whole manufacture the whole product manufacturer could be nice to watch it. Mm -hmm. yes. I was working in Fruit of the Loom.
Okay, time is over. Let's see. Why do you think it is necessary? Why do you think is it necessary to test products before they are released to the market? Volunteer? Why? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher, I wanna. Okay, Jennifer. And I think it's necessary because you need to be sure that your product is gonna be accepted um, after you launch your product. And, and you need to know uh, how people is gonna react to um, about your product. And I mean, that's the, the main point. That's mm -hmm. it, teacher. <laughs> Yeah, and also remember that you need to see the quality, right? That's another a case for a, or another reason for testing the product. So to check quality too, right? Okay, have you ever tested a product? Yes, yes, no teacher. No teacher, I never test a product before. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Somebody has tested a product? Yes, Jose Alberto. <laughs> ajá, ajá, cabal. Yo ya iba a decir Jose Alberto. Uh, um, I tested a product like uh, 10 years ago. I mm -hmm. I... What, what was it? Uh -huh. What was it? What was the product? Uh, I was make the teacher. I I was in a teacher plant, mm -hmm. and and when we have the uh, we they find the pro and doing the first the first teacher mm -hmm. for for testing test. Uh, the size, there's the, there's the, um, all the things. And what method did you use to test it? Um, I think this is the use test. Okay. The okay. use test. We can handle it. You could cite it, handle yes. it, and use it. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. That is not about a boxers, Alicia. No. <laughs> uh -huh, Alicia, were you testing boxers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alicia, se coca. No, 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 no. Okay, well, now, eh, that has become very common, right? Uh, influencers, influencers buy the products or they receive the products from the companies and they demonstrate people how the product look, uh, what the product does. So at the end, they influence on people to buy it, right? Sometimes... It is a new product and some other cases is a product that is already in the market, right? Well, let's go to this check. Can you match? Product testing methods vary by product category, right? Which one is recommended? What you're going to do is match the products and their, re, um, their recommended product testing method. Remember what we have been talking about these days is that uh, you cannot use the same test for all the products. You will use the test that best goes with the product that you're testing. 
Mm -hmm. You have consumer packaged goods, durable goods, services, and on the other side, uh, product clinics, uh, customer satisfaction tracking, and in-home usage testing. Can you help me match? Match the product testing methods with the product category. Mm -hmm. For example, service could be with customer satisfaction tracking. Okay. What about the first one? Uh huh. Services, customer satisfaction, tracking. What about consumer packaged goods? Products clinics. Products clinics, teacher. Products clinics. And durable goods. Uh, this testing. Mm? In home usage testing? Yes, it is. Okay, check your answers. For consumer packaged goods, we're going to use the in home usage testing. Later on, we will read about that. Okay. For durable, uh, durable goods, we will use product clinics. And for services, the customer satisfaction tracking. Later on in the article that we will read after the conversation, you will find about this, okay? Well, ready for the conversation. Let's read about uh, Alejandro and his father. They are making decisions about testing the new Papa sandwich. Remember, uh, at the beginning of the unit, we were talking about a new product. Alejandro was worried about having only the same products and he was asking his father to introduce a new product. His father said, okay, vaya pues, está bien, do it, right? Do it, but be sure that you know what to do because I'm not going to help you. So I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, right? I'm paraphrasing what his father said. Okay, now let's read the conversation. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site and handling test would be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? Hmm, i let you decide on that, son. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and taste our product first. Then they will rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You're learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Okay, now let's read the conversation. You repeat after me. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? We are ready to test our new product. We do. What do we do? What do we, what do we do? What do we do? First, I think the site and handling test would be the best option. First, I think the site and handling test would be the best option. Because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. 
Because, because it allows the dogs, 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 dogs to see, dogs, see the product, smell it, smell it, and taste it. it. What about the other variables? What, what about, about, about the other variables? Other variables? Will the product be branded or not? Will, will, will the, the product, product be branded, be branded, branded or, or not? not? I let you decide on that song. I let you I decide, let you decide, on, decide that on that song. Great. 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 As for the method. As for the as method. For the method no. I was thinking about the monadic. I, I was thinking, thinking about, about the monadic. The monadic. Consumers will eat and taste our mm. product first. Consumer will eat, eat and taste, and taste, our, product and taste our product first. And then we'll rate it. And, and then, then we'll rate, we'll rate it. it. I find it more coherent for our new product. I find, I find it more coherent for our new product. The Papa Sandwich. The papa sandwich. You're learning, son. You're learning, learning son. son. We have so much work to do. We, we have, have so much, much work, 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 to work to do. Work to do. <clears throat> we have to discuss about our potential customers. We have, we have to, to discuss, discuss about, about our potential, potential customers. customers. <clears throat> prototype. The the prototype. prototype. Our target audience. The our target target audience. audience, marketing, marketing, marketing. etc. Et okay, very good. <clears throat> now, do you have any questions about pronunciation here? <laughs> questions? Coher coherent. 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 Mm -hmm. Any other? Remember, you say oh, audience. Audience. Oh. Audience. No audience, right? You say audience. Audience. Uh huh. Any other question? No more? Teacher, in Alejandro, uh, will the product be branded? Will the product be branded or not? Will the product be branded or not? Branded. No more? Okay. I'm going to send you to the uh, to the groups, but this time in pairs for you to practice the conversation and answer the questions. Okay. Gotcha. Let's see. <clears throat> you are 15. Okay. In theory, un oyente tengo, okay. Bueno. Sí. Hola. Hola. <laughs> no, 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 
Let's go. Find the conversation. <clears throat> Page 20, right? Go over the conversation and practice it. Okay, first, I think the seeing and handling test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variable? Brandy or not? I'll let you decide on that some. Great. As for the next, I was thinking about the static. Consumers will eat, taste our product first, and then we'll rate, rate it. I find it more coherent. Our new product sandwich. Okay, uh, you are learning, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, and marketing, etc. Okay. Okay. Now then we're you... going to answer the question, no? Uh, now you can be Alejandro. Ah, okay, I'm okay. Not... Yes, yes. Um. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the second handle test. We option because customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Variables? Variables and um, will the product be branded or not? I'll let you decide on that song. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Consumers will eat and taste our product first and then will rate it. I find it more coherent. Coherent. Coherence for our new product, the Papa's Sandwich. You are learning some. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential consumers, customers, the prototype, our... Okay. Okay, we are good. And uh, the first question, what time of test? Do they decide, they decide to apply? Um, it's a monadic test. Yes, monadic test. Um, what decide. is the meter? They decide to. What is the meter? Monadic, monadic method. What is the method will they implement for the purpose sandwich? Oh. 
Uh, and the second question I think is the same. What testing? No. What type of test will be the best option? First, so I think the I... Sun and Ah, okay. Yes. Yes. So I think this, it is. Let me check. Um, is a uh, monadic test? No, handling. Handling. As sing, sing and handling test. Sing and handling test. What testing method will they implement for the papa sandwich? What testing model? Um, will they implement implement for the Papa Sandwich? Why? What testing method will they implement in Papa Sandwich? Maybe in the ammonatic. What testing method will they implement for Papa Sandwich? Why? Um, because Alejandro say great. As for the middle, I was thinking about the monadic. Now the customer will eat. Okay. As a method, what was do you think? thinking. As for the method, I was thinking. Um, about the method, customer we eat. The monadic, the monadic, or on or on other? My, let me check. Let me check. Um, I answer something like okay here. So that we the implement for Papa Sandwich monadic method. Yes. Yes, sir. Monadic, monadic method. method. Monadic method. Monadic method uh, because consumer will eat eat and taste. Why you write because when on finish S. What? Uh, why you write because S? Because is a, 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 a no, 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 sin, sin ah, S. Yes, yes, without S, yes. Okay. Okay. Because customer will eat and test the product. What are the next decisions to Alejandro and his dad will take about testing the new product, Papa Sandwich? What's the decision? 
Okay. We have so much to do. We have to do to discuss the uh discuss the about the potential and the prototype for our target audience working. Discuss about maybe the they have uh, so much work work to do. Target uh, I use this what the marketing, etc. Bueno, they have verdad ellos the mm -hmm. to discuss about or potential customer the prototype or target audience marketing, marketing etc. Et mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Solo sería el day por el hub, por el we. We. They have to. They have to discuss about our potencia. Okay. Customer. Audience. 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 Okay, I'll be see. <clears throat> Ahí estamos ya. Okay. Ay. Bien, bien interesante en todas las clases últimamente ¿eh? sí bien bien prácticos y viendo cómo se llama términos ¿Qué? o sea su product and then will read it I find it more coherent era verdad for a new product the papa sandwich you're learning some we have so much work to do we have to discuss about the potential customers the prototype or target audience marketing etc et et <laughs> hi teacher hi 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 like extrañé lo siento que no me pude conectar ayer ah verdad Tenía muchísima migraña, no aguantaba ver la pantalla. Ay, qué tremendo. Sí, pero, pero dormir ayuda un montón. Ah, sí, definitivamente. Más sí, siete cambios. Me... So, sí, es... me acosté y me pasó. Esa es la, la mejor medicina, dormirse en lo oscurito. Sí, no, ya me imagino estar viendo esta pantalla en la noche, no hubiera aguantado, dicho. Yeah, that's pero, pero ya vi el, el video y, y le pregunté a Jenny cómo había estado y pues ya estoy aquí tratando de ponerme al día. Excelente, excelente. Bueno, I'm going to take you out now. I, I think you finished, right? Oh, yeah, you finished. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. I'm silenced.
Okay, well, waiting for everybody to come back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call attendance and then we will check our uh, your answers, okay? Ready, ready. Yes. 11. I guess, vamos a ver how many seconds. Oh, nine, eight seconds and everybody will be here. Hmm. Okay, now we're ready. Let's see, let's see, Adriana, Sofia. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Elmer Fabricio, Grace Michelle, Yvonne Marcela, presente, Jennifer Elizabeth, present teacher, Jessica Lisette. Hoy, Jessica, sí está. Eh, José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Karen, Karen. No hear Karen. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisset Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca, Rebeca. No here today. Eh, Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Ok. Bueno. Ya estamos. Los que estamos. I'm going to match. Mm. A ver, moving. What type of test do they decide to apply at the end in the conversation? Yes. What type of test do they decide to apply? The seeing and handling test. The sight and handling? Yes, the sight and yes. handling. Very good. As testing method, uh, what testing method would they implement for the papa sandwich and why? Monadic method. Monadic method. The monadic. Why? Because the consumer will eat and taste our uh, your products mm -hmm. first and then will rate it. Exactly. Yeah. 
that is the one that suits very well with their product because the customers will be able to taste it, right? To see it. And remember that when we're talking about food, if we see the food attractive, we will buy it. But if it looks like, oh, we won't buy it, right? So the first thing is to see it. So sight and handling. Mm -hmm. In the monadic method, we see the product, we handle it, we use it, we taste it, we rate it, right? That's why that's the best method. What are the next decisions Alejandro and his dad will take about testing the new papa sandwich? Mm -hmm. What are the next decisions that they have to take? They gonna discuss about the potential customers, the prototype, or their target audience and the marketing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So they have to uh, specify all those aspects, right? Before they have the product ready and launch it to the market. Okay, great, great. Any questions here? Questions, no questions. No teacher, thank you. Okay. Now check. Today we have a reading. We're going to be working on an article that I'm going to share with you. It's uh, a long ad. It, it has five pages. Alfredo, que pasó? Mm -hmm. Okay, but I'm going to I'm going to upload the document here. The document has, as I said, five pages, but it's because it is an article that I that I was summarizing an article of about 20 pages. I summarize it to five, right? And you will summarize it to less. Uh, what we are going to do, what you are going to do is a uh, read or dedicate. I'm going to make five groups. I hope I have enough people. And what you're going to do is go through the reading, right? Go through the article, check the part that corresponds to you. I'm going to share it here also. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. So I have the article here. Much. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is assign two to each of you, right? So group number one will be doing best practice one and two. So you go through the reading, right? And then you will get ready to share with the class what you learn about those two best practices. Uh, number two, uh, group number two will go for practice three and four. Yes, and so on. So at the end, at the end, I'm going to make the groups. Let's see, we are 17. Mm. Well, I need five groups. And I hope I have enough people for each of the groups. Okay, Karen, póngase el nombre completo. Otra vez me aparece solo como Karen Barrientos.
No sé si José Alfredo va a lograr entrar hoy a los grupos. Probemos, teacher, porque creo que con el wifi es el problema. Sí, quizá, ¿verdad? Quizá. Si no, José Alfredo, si no logra entrar, aquí en el grupo grande le asigno para que usted siempre se quede trabajando y después nos comparte hoy. Vamos a ver. Ok. Ya estuvo el Edwin, Edwin, es, quiero ver. Ah, uh, 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 uh. yes, Edwin, sí, ¿verdad? Está aquí. Yes. A ver, perfecto. Adriana, Marcela, no. Eh, Diego, Batre, Rosa, Hilda. Diego no está. Bueno, creo que me van a quedar algunos. Va a haber uno de tres. Porque aquí tengo la sala dos, están aparentemente cuatro, pero Adriana Marcela no está. So you're only three. Ok. And in room number one, only Rosailda and Victor will be. Not sure. Quiero ver. Sí. Yo creo que ya los ubiqué de tal manera que no me voy a quedar alguno solito, sino pues yo llego a moverlo. Hoy sí, Karen. I can see you with your complete name. Bye. Did you see the document? Sí. Did you see the document? Group number one. Yes, uh, we have Rosailda. I'm going to share. I'm going to share my baby. Baby. Okay. Bye. Rosy and Victor. You will talk about best practice one and best practice two. Okay? So that's what you will read and that's what you will mm -hmm. analyze and get ready to share. In room number two, Adriana, Sofia, Jessica, Lisette, and Lisette Ayanara, you will analyze best practice three and best practice four. Okay? Yes. Okay, teacher. Eh, room number three, Yvonne, Marcela, Jose Alfredo, and Nubia. You will analyze best practice five and six. Five and six. Así es que Alfredo, si no lograra entrar al, al grupo, ya sabe que a su grupo le toca best practice five and six. Oye. Okay, teacher. Pero ojalá que hoy sí pueda entrar. Vamos a ver, group, Estera, group three, ¿verdad? Bye. Group number four, Analicia, David, and Carla Lorena, you will do best practice seven and best practice eight. And the last group, Edwin, Jennifer, and Jose Alberto, you will do best practice nine and best practice ten. ¿Ok? ¿Se acuerdan cuál les dije? ¿Qué les toca? Yes, teacher. Ah. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect, perfect. Bueno, eh, open the document that is in the chat then and let's go to work. Karen, ¿se acuerda dónde le había dicho que estaba usted? No, teacher. Es que, es que no me mencionó. Ah, es que se había salido, fíjese. Es que él me salí para volver a poner el nombre. <risa> ah, ya. Vaya, ya voy a ver qué grupo se me queda pobre y ahí la voy a mandar hoy. Ok. Jessica, Lisette, can you join the rooms? José Alfredo no logró entrar. Lo voy a mover quizá. Ahí está, muy bien, muy bien. Ah, vaya, vaya, vaya. Adriana Marcela no está. Vaya, la voy a mandar al room number three entonces, Karen. No, number two. Con Adriana Sofía y Liseta Yanara. Ok, teacher. 
se ve bien grandote ese grupo, ahí va a ver como que hay cinco gente, pero realmente solo están Adriana, Sofía, Liseta, Yanara, Anju. Ya me lo mandó. No aparece. Ya tendría que aparecerle. ¿Puede reenviármelo? Vaya, la voy a rebotar a otro grupo y después la mando al dos de nuevo. Hoy. Cheque. Se me salió. Ah, ok. Mire hoy. Vea si le aparece. El uno se le apareció y el dos no quiere. Ven. El dos. Y fíjese que cuando la moví al, al uno, sí le salía, pero la muevo al dos y no sé por qué el dos no le aparece. Jessica, try to join. Hoy oh, sí, very good. Jessica, Jessica, try to join. No se include an actor in market market testing evaluates new products and services in markets or channels where they are offered for sale to consumer consumer to measure measure consumer response. Mm. Yes. Best practice tool. Cast a wide net. Cast a wide net with your sample, but include prospects unlikely to buy the product. If a product has a specific target, the concept that should be conducted among the group. For example, cosmetics concept will be tested among female teens and adults while diaper concept will use a sample of parents of young children who are responsible for diaper purchaser. For most categories, selecting the sample population is easy, but I But, but it can get tricky with a nice, what is nice teacher? Mm -hmm. What is nice? What's nice mean? Nice is, is N I C H A. Nice. me dónde está? En what line? Es the first of the second paragraph. Diaper, no. No, no it's the, for the most categories, selecting the sample population is easy. But I can ah. get to it. Tricky. Tricky with niche. With niche, niche of niche. high products. A niche is like a group or a quantity of end product of high end products. Okay. Or high end products. You want you you want to cut a new quite enough to accurately accurately represent your sample population, but not so wide as to include people who are unlikely to buy your product. For example, if you are testing a concept for 20 sort of high hundred espresso machine, you probably want your sample to have a higher than average annual has household income and perhaps a likelihood to consider a high a high end <clears throat> kitchen appliance. You must understand your target and locate responses 
respondent who will give you a equivalent service practice tool. Why cast wide net we net with your sample, but include prospects unlikely to buy the product. Okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yes, I okay. Um conclusion. <laughs> um let me what is the discussion about the discussion? Will have been easier to explaining a concept test to consumers already familiar with the device. The concept question questionnaire typically asks consumers to rate a concept using measures such as this: purchase interest, how interest the respondent is in buying the product. Ah, okay. What the respondent is in buying the product. Purchase quantity, the number of products a consumer will buy at their initial purchase of the product. Okay, I'm confused. Frequency, uh, purchase frequency, how often? the respondent will be likely to buy the product. And value for the money, how the respondent perceives the product's benefits compared to its price. So, can you give an, an example of, of, of this? practice your concept should be simple enough okay so i think when we are talking about the concept to be simple to understand we have to consider for for measures but this is in in case we can explain when a simple and concise description, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, we have to consider the interest, the quantity, the frequency, and the value for the money of the, of the product for the consumer, right? And the concepts should be very easy to explain. So if the consumers do not understand what you're trying to tell them they won't buy it right if they don't understand what your product is so you see the example of the ipod at the beginning uh, as it was something totally new the, the people who created were like, okay, how can we put it in words that people understand easily? How can we make it easy for people? But at the end, with the next generations of iPods, with all the characteristics, the new characteristics that it got, it was easier for them to explain the, 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 the concept of the product to the people. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, best practice number. Hola, si quieren puedo leer el seis. Sí. Okay. Best practice number six in home testing can provide more realistic conditions. What is the product test conducted? Because product testing usually re requires that the respondent touch and taste a product. It is often conducted, ¿cómo se dice eso? Conducted? Conductor. Conductor. Conducted in person. 
possible location included either a central location, such as a mall basis, basis interview facility, or in a consumer's Oh, no, se me apagó el teléfono. Perdón. No voy a abrir la compra. Ok. No charge. Consumers home. home. Central location tests are used when all the products in the study must be prepared or used in the same way. The presence of a professional interviewer provides control over the product's preparation or usage, such as in footage that respond respondents in a medical product test view education materials or make or making sure that a particular food is tested at the correct temperature. Some products are tested more effectively through an in home test. For example, frozen food and beverage, beverage mixes may be tried at home in order to learn about the preparation experience at home or to get the opinions of other household members. In home tests, also allow respond, respondents to test product over multiple multiple days and multiple ways, multiple ways. For example, a laundry. Detergent can be used on different types of clothes. A cleaning product can be tested on a different surface, surfaces, sur, surfaces. Perfect. Or a shampoo surface. Yeah. Or a shampoo or body lotion lotion can be tried try out over several days of use. So it's talking about a, that the real test is in in the practice <laughs> in the. Um, in the experience of the customer, when the people use the product and, and in their house, in their home, and it can be if works or not, I think. Mm -hmm. So people try the product for uh, how do you say various various days? Uh, some days. Some days. For some days. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They try it for a couple of days, right? Mm -hmm. and uh, in the um, in the own of the product uh, listen um, of the target but the, the ¿cómo se dice a la persona que usa el producto? the consumer or the customer uh -huh. uh, the consumer of the product um uh, because they know they know better about the, the use. Mm -hmm. 
In the case five, the uh, people compare uh, the the companies compare the concept um, anteriores with the, the previous, new the previous yes, ones the previous concept mm -hmm. with uh, a new concept. And uh, um, I don't um, Probar. Try. Try the product for the uh, uh, the people in a specific. For example, the uh, diapers, the panthers, try the moms that has a uh, uh, babies. Mm -hmm. The product of that uh, cosmetic, try the woman's uh, young and adult women mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it will depend on who is your market right if you're making a product for young girls or if you're having a product for a uh, women mm -hmm. Uh -huh. What else? What teacher? What else? Um, um, the companies compare that uh, previous mm -hmm. with a twenty five percent. It's a it's a como una medida clave para ellos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Es como indicator for the for the products eh, debe de, de, de seguirse produciendo. Uh -huh. And remember to put it in your own words, right? To be ready to, to share it with the rest of the, of the class. Entonces, ¿cómo le colocamos? Ajá, o sea, 
if the product is according to the to the the idea to the idea uh -huh. if the product uh, have the characteristic Sería como validar si el producto cumple las características o especificaciones establecidas. Ajá. O sea, lo planeado. Ajá. Medidas. Validar, validar o verificar. Sí, o sea, el testing, el testing product is that you are going to be sure that it is exactly what you plan it, what you plan it. So the testing product, it has to be, it have to have the items that show it, that show that color, eh, aroma, as the, as the document said. Temperature, mm -hmm. a time for for during, no sé, ay, pero duración, time. The, the lasting. Lasting, ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ok. Bien. Hoy sí repito de nuevo. <laughs> ajá. <laughs> Dele. ¿Cómo sería entonces? The, the characteristic o verify if the product meets the characteristic. The characteristics. The characteristics. Uh -huh. Of the product. Uh -huh. O if it complies. Right. No. ¿Cómo se dice a, a su ¿Cómo cuál? A su, molde, a su ¿cómo hay? ¿A su qué, David? Eh, para como por lo que pasa que ahí lo oímos que es como comparar. Entonces usted compara con lo que usted se planteó. Exactly. With the spec. No, 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 de planteamiento, no, con la, sería validar si el producto cumple las, con las características. That were proposed at the beginning. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, this level, it's, it's going a little bit difficult. Ya van avanzando, espérense llegar al, al avanzado. My goodness. <laughs> yes. Validate if the product meets the, char the characteristic of the proposal. But validate if the product meets. Excuse me. <clears throat> validate the product, only that. If the product meets with the with the expectatives. Mm. Or the expectations, we can say, right? The, char the characteristic. Um, um, what? Propos. With the expectations or the proposed character, the characteristics proposed at the beginning. So erased and of the characteristic proposed at the beginning. Uh -huh. at, at, at the beginning. Spell the beginning. B O B B O le estoy diciendo B E G I N N E R G B 
B E G I N N I N G I N G Okay Okay and That's it Well in short in short words yes he said uh, words. Can you uh, go up the document? Number eight, no, seven, eight. Aha. Uh -huh. At the. Uh, number number six. No, 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 no. Yes, right. Number eight. By this. Okay. But the. Subject of the number eight. Okay. Compares measures from the product test with measures from, from the concept, the concept test. test. Yes. Is the compare. As you said, if the product uh, get the expense expectations expectations or reach verdad teacher if the product reach the expectations porque mm -hmm. alcanzar exactly exactly reached mm -hmm. so Agre, the... podría, we can add a, 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 a be sure that the product reach the expectations. Mm -hmm. Be sure. Be sure. Be sure. Or if the product reach reach reaches. Okay. Or I see. You can add letter S. Reach the expectations. The expectations. Uh -huh. Reach the expectations. With letter X. Expectations. Expectations. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We can read it again if you want to practice the whole the whole uh, article about number seven. Use the brand will affect. Will affect. Will affect. Will. Por case. Por case. La decisión del comprador. Por case decision. The buyer's decision or the chopper's decision. Mm -hmm. The buyer's. So, including brand in a product test. Es que autocorrector no me deja. <laughs> Correcto. Mejor en español. Escribe, ve. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ahí está. Aquí me falta una F, quizás va. Eh... Así. No. Sí, doble F. Ajá. Affected by your decision. Sí, ¿Qué sí. más? Um, in the marketplace. Uh -huh. In the marketplace. That's all. Okay. So, including brand? What? 
Coma, so including brand. Hoy sí. Sí. So, including so. brand. So, sí. Including brand. Including. Including. Ajá. ¿Así? No, sin la O. Brand. Uh -huh. In a product test. Can provide can can provide provide así no no provide provide uh -huh. provide así provide uh -huh. better estimates better estimates estimates uh -huh. Of potential. Of potential. potential. Purchase. And usage. And usage. Usage. Sí. Mm -hmm. Purchase. Okay. Está unido con N. Sí. Sería la número 10. Y la demás, sí. How are you doing here? Good. Good. <laughs> when the finish the course, we have the um, Título de diploma. Uh -huh. Of the merchandising. Yes. Do you leave? Be ready to open a <laughs> business and creating a product. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Este esfuerzo nos está costando sangre y lágrimas. <ríe> Ay, qué barbarita. ¿Por qué, pues? Teacher, es que... Ya, ya dije Yo... a las 10, ya, ya me siento licuada, teacher. <ríe> Ay, no, qué barbaridad. No, pero no solo eso, sino que este ciclo ha sido bien intenso. El tipo de vocabulario, eh, en la forma en la que se plantea todo, es así bien intenso, ya es otro nivel realmente. Definitely. It's more advanced. Yes. Imagínense yo leyendo todo lo que están leyendo ustedes ayer para resumirlo a, a cinco páginas. <laughs> Because they were a lot of pages. O sea que hasta usted va a salir eh, mercadóloga bilingüe con todos nosotros. Sí, yo estoy recordando, recordando todo lo que estudié en la, en la licenciatura. <laughs> ah. Sí. My, my curso de especialización was in emprendedurismo. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, I'm refreshing. 
Oh, I, I love marketing. Yes, but in an, in a Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> English. No, why not in English? <laughs> I know. And you can go learning vocabulary. <laughs> yes. There, are, there is a lot of vocabulary here. A lot. And the grammar yes. points. Also, right? Interesting. 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 Yeah. Interesting, interesting. We learn more and different uh, mm -hmm. concepts. Exactly. Exactly. So you go learning a, a combination of everything, right? Mm -hmm. Vocabulary, the, the, the structure is totally new too. Because here we have new structure. It's completely new to what you know, right? To, to what we have been studying before. Yeah. But that's the, the idea. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the idea that you can uh, get to know new vocabulary. Yes. Not just new structures, but also a lot of vocabulary. A lot, a lot. Yes. And how are you doing? Did you finish? Yes, you're ready. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Vámonos, pues. A dormir. <laughs> A dormir, ya. Vale. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos a ver. I guess, I guess we won't finish sharing all today, right? But let's see if we can listen at least to groups. Let's see. I'm, I'm trying to be very optimistic thinking that we will be able to listen to two groups. A ver, eh, group number one. Are we, Rosa, Hilda, and Victor? Okay, perfect. Do you want to share the screen or, or, or that's okay? Victor? That's, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Okay, tell us about the first best practice. Best practice number one, use testing to okay. development expenditures on high potential projects. Okay, uh, the, the best practice number one is the focus, the expenditure on high potential projects. It's about the, the best practice is it's occurred in three stages: the product testing, uh, the product concept, and the product testing, and and in market. Uh, the the product concept is uh, developing a new concepts uh, the that's involve new ideas for the products. About the um, uh, product testing, it include, it include um,
it that's that's include um, new products, uh, product pro prototype, and it's uh, developed or conducted in laboratories or in homes. That uh, to develop to develop the product idea. Okay. And now about the concept about the three tier stage is about in market testing. It is here in market testing. That's a um, involve new products and services in markets or channels. For example, for example, if you are thinking to launch to the market a new cheese brand, um, you are going to check the existing mark in the supermarket. And, and that's are gonna be to your your competencia. How do you say competencia in English? Your competence. Yes. That, yeah, that are gonna be your competence. Okay. That is important. I, I think that is the reason about the concept. In market is, is inside. Okay, very good. Um, that about the best practice number two is, uh, is when, uh, you, when the product has a target audience. For example, the the um, uh, theories theory says if the product is um cosmetic for example the target audience is a uh, female female teens and uh, it could be since 12 uh, to 19 years old maybe that is the that that has um target audience uh, it's the same for example if you if if you are thinking to launch a diaper for for adult okay uh, your target audience is gonna be uh, people yeah. of the third age mm -hmm. elderly people right uh, yes yes um so uh, if that's the reason when you uh, focus on focus development expedition on high potential in the in case the practice number one you focus the expenditure uh, linking your idea of the product okay very good that excellent thank you victor and remember that uh, when we test a product, right? And before launching a product, we want to test to test it, or we want to check how people will accept it. You take a, a sample of the of the population, right? That are supposed to buy your product, but even so, the sample should not be too big but it shouldn't be too small either. And as you already know, your target, your target market, you will launch the product to the target market. So as Victor was saying, if you're selling makeup, you won't give the sample to men because probably they will say, oh yeah, I want to take it to my wife, but... Mm, if the purpose is that women test the product, you will take a sample of women, right? If you're selling uh, something for babies, you will look for people or for women that have babies. So that's when it says exclude. So you take a, a, a wider net. So that means a big market, right? But exclude prospects unlikely to buy the product. So those people that are very possible that won't buy your product, this unlikely is similar to say impossible, right? So those people that you say, no, she doesn't have a baby, so she won't buy me a diaper. Uh -uh. 
I won't give a sample diaper to her because she's very impossible that she come and buy a diaper, right? So you will exclude the prospects that will not buy your product. If not, you're just wasting money for nothing, right? Okay, well, we will stop here today. And tomorrow, um, I want to, let me see. Tomorrow we will listen to a- Monday teacher. I Monday. Ajá, pues no, mañana. <laughs> Vamos a ver, aquí tengo a las Adrianas, eh, Karen, Stephanie, Liseta y Ana. Lo voy a escribir porque no después no olvida quién era, saber quién estaba conmigo, teacher. Number three, Yvonne, José Alfredo y Nubia. And number four, Ana Alicia, David, and Carla. And the last one, Edwin, Jennifer, Jessica, and Jose Alberto. Okay, bye. So we retake it on Monday and I listen to the rest of the people on Monday. Okay. Vamos a ver who are here today. Tell me present. Adriana Sofia. Present. Analicia. Analicia. Present teacher. Se perdió. Ana Iris. Ese que puso, eh, con la barra espaciadora nunca me agarra. Oh, my goodness. Ana, Ana Grisel. David. Present teacher. Diego. No está Diego. Estaba, ¿verdad? Estaba... No. No. Bien usado el verbo, man. estaba. Ok, Edwin Mauricio. Presente. Elda Cristina. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabricio, ¿no? Eh, Grace Michelle, Yvonne Marcela, Present. Jennifer Elizabeth, Present Teacher, Jessica Lisette, José Alberto, Present Teacher, Karen Janet, Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Liseta Yanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela y José Alfredo. Bueno, that's it for today. Teacher, did Hola. you mention to me? Victor. Yes, present. Sí, pero no me contestó, Victor. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Yo dije, ya perdimos a Victor en el camino. Bueno, see you eh, Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. Bye. Good night. Thank you, Bye. teacher. Bye. 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 And be ready Happy for weekend. sharing. Have a nice weekend. Yes. Enjoy. Good night. Good night.
Good night. Good Monday. Good night. Enjoy your weekend. Happy weekend. Thank you. You too. A dormir. Thank you. <laughs> see you. See you.